Chillin today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 video, but not your ordinary video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing the solid color build challenge in the color yellow. And you all know, I was born for this. My shirt's yellow, my chair is yellow, my walls are literally yellow. Like I was born for this challenge and also the color as well. But anyway, before we kind of hop into today's video, I wanted to say thank you to The Sims Resource for sponsoring today's video. And if you're not familiar with The Sims Resource, you are living under a rock, my friends. Like all of you all are living under a rock. It's your one-stop shop for any custom content needs that you might want to get for your Sims game, for The Sims 1, Sims 2, 3, or 4. And to be honest, if you haven't noticed, the past few videos I've been posting is actually The Sims 3. And I've been having the most fun downloading some new CC for my game game and it's been a pure joy. But the one thing I really love about The Sims Resource is that they have a VIP membership that actually allows you to add things to Basket. And once you're like done shopping for all your good stuff for your game, what it does is it actually downloads all into one zip file where you would have to download individual files. It's just one file just one single file. And that's what I love. Simple, easy, and hassle-free. So in case you want to get your own VIP membership on The Sims Resource, all you got to do is click the link in my description and also use the code SPRINGSIMS12. That actually acts as a creator code where it supports me as a creator for this channel. So in case you want to go check it out and get your own VIP membership and support me, you know where to go. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. So The Sims Resource actually has their very own shell challenge. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm doing the solid color build challenge and they have a solid color build challenge as well. So put two two together and make it a thing. Except for theirs, theirs actually is one room, but I wanna take it one step further and make it crazy and do a whole build and see what I can do. Because the more yellow, the better because yellow is the best color and we all know it. So I think the way I'm gonna do this is probably start off very, very small because I don't know about you. When I build big giant houses, I ask myself, why? Like, why did I do this? Why did I make this giant house way too big? Knowing the fact that I don't want to furnish it, but I just did it because it was good for the build and my save file. But today we're going to think small. We're going to have small brain today. We're not going to be big brain. We're not going to be pinky in the brain. We're going to be pinky and not the brain because pinky is a true MVP here true MVP. He knows what he's talking about sometimes, not all the time, but for now he knows what he's talking about because pinky in the brain, one has smarts, the other one's insane. And my whole goal is to probably make this entire house a three bedroom, two bathroom home. If I can squeeze it in, I'm pretty sure I can squeeze it in because one, we have bunk beds and two, I think I can squeeze in some stuff here and there and make it, you know, somewhat functional at least. I mean, the key thing here is all yellow and then that's pretty much it. But we're going to copy and pasta all the roof pieces. I might do a little bit of a cheaty cheaty and add multiple roof pieces to this because I don't want the roof uh, like piece to clip into the wall and we don't need that today. So we're going to make some stuff smaller, some stuff bigger and kind of work our way around it. So I've done this challenge before in the past and I've done a lot of attempts of this and I love doing this challenge. So I might do another one in a different color, but we'll have to see what color that will be. Any guesses? Let me know in the comments. But I think that this one's gonna turn out really well. I have high hopes, like very like high hopes for this one. Like I know the Sims team came through with the yellow in the past and now the future. It's just gonna be a great day. I honestly have full faith in this build that's going to look amazing like i'm just so excited hmm we don't have that many swatches or like many choices for our roof pieces i don't i want to go with this one. Oh no you know i don't know about this i may have spoke too soon about this yellow well no actually hold up it doesn't look that bad it didn't look bad it looks fine it looks fine i think it actually looks pretty good i mean i'm judging it too quickly right now but let's add our wall trim here because I think it'll look a little bit better if we like push these eaves in so we can see the full thing. Yeah, we'll do it like that. And then around the house as well. So we're gonna just go with that. We're gonna go with yellow, all yellow all the way. Cause I do not want to use the Get Famous ones. Like these look absolutely awful. I don't like that. I'm gonna use the base game ones. Base game has not let me down thus far and it will not fail me today. Base game will come through. I may hate the color yellow oh because it's not doing me justice oh no oh no this is not good 
This is not good. Do we have a roof thing that's yellow? Because I might have to do something on this side piece right here. Maybe I've actually cracked the code of how to be the best builder you can be with one solid color. Oh, this is a great day. That is yellow. Oh, <gasps> Oh, this is so perfect. I'm loving it. Oh, see, when the game's on your side, you know it's a great day. You know you're going to be thriving in the world left and right. 365, no doubt about it, with no twists and turns. The straightforward conquering your dreams. Because that is what we're doing here today, conquering our dreams together with a yellow bill. Why is the game categorizing half of these builds not yellow, but they're all yellow? I feel like the top color has to be like the main prominent color in order for it to categorize as yellow. I don't know. We'll just go with this one. It's fine. We'll leave it alone. It's yellow and it's fine. But the landscaping. Oh, no. I didn't. Oh, no. This is the one tree that. Oh, no. It's so gigantic. We just size it down. It's fine. But it's so huge. Wait, what if we just put it back here? Yeah, what if we just do like that? Yeah, we'll just leave it alone. We'll put that in the back and leave it alone. We don't need anything else. These are not yellow. Wait, low lining pale. Don't gotta tell me twice so you know, hey, if the game says it's yellow, then um we use it. So um we, we're using yellow today. As you can see here, it's it might be, the whole thing might be green, but it says the title, it's, it, it's yellow. You win some, you lose some, you go with it. We got no rocks, okay, well. You get what you're getting and don't throw a fit. It's fine. I remember when I said at the beginning of the video that I thought this house was going to look really ugly. I was going to hate the color yellow. No, no, no. I actually kind of like this. I like this house. It's coming along pretty great. The whole idea, the concept, the innovation of the build is so good that you just like, I want to move in. So I think for the layout, what I'm trying to do is maybe have enough room for at least three bedrooms and two bathrooms, but also be able to fit at least eight Sims in total. Because now that we have bunk beds, it's possible to have extra beds for extra Sims. So for like the kids room, I could add in two bunk beds, which is like four beds in total, then a double bed in the parents' bedroom, that's six, and then like a toddler, two toddler beds in like the other rooms, so like that's eight Sims. So you have eight beds for eight Sims. So like this could definitely work out. So we have the general layout done down here. So like a living room down here, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, dining room maybe, or I might flip flop them two around. I don't know, this could be the kitchen, then this could be the dining room. And then we have the entrance area over here. Now for the upstairs though, I think this could be preferably easy. So I could put a hallway here, actually, cut this in half with a bedroom, bathroom, and then this right here could be another bathroom. Oh yeah, this could work out so well. This is good. Yeah, so we have a bedroom here, bedroom, bathroom, another bathroom. So this is so good. Now here's where it gets tricky because the thing is we don't have a lot of swatches in yellow for like doors, flooring. We're just here out here struggling like it's nobody's business. So the flooring just might be the same throughout the entire house from the paranormal stuff pack, which actually has great furniture, which I'm very, very pleased about. But I think if I'm gonna make this look very different room wise, I'm probably gonna raise the dining room onto a platform like one, like elevated by one. So it looks a little bit better. But now this is, oh no. Oh wait, never mind, I'm fine. <laughs> I was like, oh no, not the outside, it looks so weird. But no, we have this, this is, this is very good, yeah. I mean, we're not really going for fancy, cool, nice, nice. We're just going with what works best and then does it have the same, like, does it have the color swatch that I want? Yeah, functionality, yes. Uh, fancy, good looking, no. Does it come in my correct swatch? Yes, so we're gonna go with those two things, the swatch and the functionality of it. Everything else is just, we're check out the water. We don't care about those anymore. No, no, we do not. Now for the wallpaper on the inside, this is where it gets ugly, I think. Well, actually, you know, we just use, hmm, hmm. You know what? I stand corrected. This looks pretty good. I'm not, wait a minute. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't know about that one. I'll size it down. I'll put it in the corner. You know, splash of yellow never hurt nobody. Oh, wait, I forgot. We have hanging plants from Paranormal. Oh, I'm, okay. This is gonna be the best day ever. I'm absolutely living for this entire build because we, like, since, like, the last, like, couple of, like, color builds I've done in the past, 
we have gotten more items and like different swatches and it's been a literal dream is that the floor is lava oh my goodness i have not played the game in forever i would love to have more hanging plants in this game like the hanging plants in the sims 4 and in irl are so cool looking that i wish i had them in real life so like more please <gasps> wait even the did i mention i love the sims 4 for these swatches this is an, an absolute dream you couldn't tell me not to add more yellow because i'll do it i'll add more wait what is this i've never seen this watch before that's from strangerville hmm. interesting do we have a mirror in yellow we d we do <laughs> this pleases me very m oh that's high <gasps> oh you could not tell me that yellow is ugly <laughs> snaps for the yellow oh we have show your stripes the base game one that I always tend to use sometimes. But see, the flooring itself does not work for any of the carpet that I'm using. Wait, we have this rug. I forgot about this one from Nithy Knitting. Oh, see, when the game doesn't do you dirty, you know it's a great day. Oh, actually, let's, let's replace that one. Nifty Knitting has a little bit much uh, more spruce of pop of color in there. Do we have a thermostat in yellow? Oh, that should be a thing. A thermostat in yellow. Look at my calendar, a little cat here. Oh, what if this is like a movie smart family? Like the Incredibles live here, but it's like their summer vacation home, but a very smaller downsized one they don't ever go to, but they just have for convenience. That could be their house. This could be their house, it's all yellow. So now for the dining room, I think that this one's gonna be easier because we do have some good swatches in here that are actually appropriate. Like the ones from Get Famous are too big, I could use all the stuff from Eco Lifestyle because there is a lot of yellow swatches that I actually use a lot. Maybe I just use the one from Eco Lifestyle. Yeah, I'll just use the table and then the chairs from Eco Lifestyle because those have a bunch of yellow swatches that I really love, especially Cool Kitchen. Yeah, now that I think about it, there are a lot of things in a Cool Kitchen that I actually like. Like the yellow swatches do come in handy. They actually come and save the day. Uh Oh, what's this? I've never seen these before in my life. What are these? Are these diplomas? Oh, memorabilia. I've never seen these before. And they're from Discovery University. You can really tell I played the game because I don't, I've never seen those before in my life. Oh, we have banners. Ooh, maybe hangout stuff. I'm going to use it. It looks nice. See, it kind of blends in well with the flooring, which is a good or bad thing. I don't know. I think that no, I don't like it. I'm just going to use the same one I use in the, in the entrance area. And then we move on to the kitchen. I think the kitchen, however, we have a lot of potential here. Country kitchen kit all the way. All the way country kitchen kit saves lives. we do auto counters. Yeah. Auto counters with the country kitchen kit. If you haven't gotten it yet, I would recommend only getting this one. The other ones you don't really need. Um, cause they're only, they're $5 each, but I think the country kitchen kit is worth the $5 in my humble opinion. Fire extinguisher. We are going to burst into flames. There's literally nothing in yellow that is fire safety. That really tells you something, honestly, folks. It really tells you that we're going to die in this house because there's no fire, anything. At least we do have a fire extinguisher. That's only decorative, but you know, let's have some fire safety. Mm, this is a so this is gonna be not the parents bedroom, but I'm gonna make this like maybe a teens bedroom Oh, it's a bedroom slash office for the kids. So bunk beds in yellow Bunk beds in yellow bunk beds in yellow and also toddler beds in yellow the, the game came through so We're gonna use this base game one that looks like parenthood to me Um, let's do this one. Oh wait, you know what I could do actually I could use a What's it called? A desk, a one tile desk from Tiny Living and put it right here. And they could still use like the bed and the wardrobe, simple and easy. Then I can put another one over here. Let's not just make it all matchy matchy and use the ones from Parenthood. Yeah. Parenthood always comes through with the good ones where it matches and it looks nice. Actually, maybe let's not use that. Do we have another, do you have other ones from Parenthood that we can use? You have other options here. Hmm. Other options for parenthood. I don't think we do. So we just might use the kids room stuff to be honest. Those, those look remotely a little bit better um, when you think about it. Again, we're going for functionality and adding activities in here, not for the sake of looking good. 
So we're gonna do the master bedroom, which is gonna be right here. And technically this is the same size as the one downstairs. So aren't they just all master bedrooms? And technically, so two Sims are downstairs, two, four, six, eight. So we have two bunk beds here. And then I could put in a double bed here, so that's eight. So yeah, that could work. This could work easily peasily. And I have my favorite bed and it's also even too. My yellow little heart is bursting into yellow joy and it feels so great to be alive in this game. Let me tell you, it's so good. That's yellow, we'll use it. Seems nice enough. Now we're gonna use a bunch of hanging plants. Oh, oh that's large, that's long. Is that this one? Where's the short ones? Oh, here's the short ones. So we'll use the short little hanging plants all in the corners to give it some dimension. And then for all the rest of stuff, it's kind of basically all copy and pasta for all of them. They're not really unique in some similar way. They're all the same to me. There, there we go. Good. So now you have the wallpaper. Did I not put the wallpaper down? Who am I? We just use the same wallpaper all around. The same wallpaper for each room. Or we just use some variety. That's yellow and blue. It's still yellow. Actually, wait a minute. I can use this one down here. And then I could use this one as a kind of a light bland one. Mosquito. Oh, this is like a fun color. And then one from Vintage Glamour, maybe. Never mind. I mean, it does look quite nice. I think that kind of works. Mm, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back with that one. I'm gonna take back on my promise. Mm -mm, no. Yeah, that works better. So much better. And then I might move this back a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so now what else is left for this bedroom? I have no idea. I'll do the other bathrooms later because I'm gonna just basically copy and pasta the same ones from the downstairs to the upstairs. Cause they're all the same. Now for the other bedroom, now that we have four, we can fit four Sims. I'm gonna add two bunk beds, one on both sides. And now that I think about it, toddlers don't really need to be in this house. We don't need toddlers. Toddlers are overrated. They're too much work. That's weird. I could have sworn that we're bunk beds in the kids category. I guess not. I mean, I'll just make it a kid's bedroom. There's four, there's four kids in this house. So, I mean, this could work, but it still does not match the way I want it. I want it, the, the metal part to be white. See, I could do this right here. Well, not that one. I could, not that one either. See, I could do it this one from City Living. I could do that one or I could, ooh, kids? Parenthood does come in handy. Hmm. Or actually, hold up. No, I could do this way. I could just flip them around. But do I have enough room for that? Yeah, so like they're blo it's blocking the windows though. That's the thing. So you just kind of hope for the best to make sure it turns out good in the end. I'm hoping for the best that it turns out good in the end. I mean, the downstairs looks, looks fantastic. Bedrooms, however, it needs some work. I think the bedrooms need some, some work here and there. Ooh, do we have clutter? We have clutter. That's in yellow. Oh, this is perfect. We got some books. Let's stack them over here. We'll give them this one. It's 10,000 simoleons. What? Oh no, we'll give them the one that's cheaply from City Living. That's crazy. I didn't, I didn't think these items were that expensive. How much does it cost? Okay, 74,000 simoleons. That's not that bad. I can deal with that. That's not as expensive as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be like over 100K. Because half of my houses are like over 100K. And that's not good. So at least these are ugly. Ugh. Hold up. Where are they at? Where's my chair that I want to use? Oh, here it is. Found it. Okay. So we have our dresser. We have our desk and computer. I think what's appropriate is probably have a TV. Because what the kids can do, they can now, people, Sims can now relax in their beds now, which is so cool and convenient. But do we have a TV that's in, in yellow? We do, but for the wall. So I could put it here and they can probably still watch TV maybe and read their books. So that, that works as a bookshelf and a stereo. So they can listen to music, read their books, watch TV, maybe play video games. I'm not entirely sure. So, but at least they can do something for entertainment in their rooms. So they have that little activity there. Maybe I add my sunflowers. Maybe sunflowers make the world go round. Do we have a chess table that's in yellow? that I can put here. Because if not, then I'll just put chairs everywhere. Chairs. Oh, laundry day stuff could work. That could work there. However, I have not used. I don't remember this from my first bed stuff. What? Why does it look so good here? 
And then I think, oh, here it is. Imagine if our Sims could like sweep the floor. Now that would be a very cool feature to add into the, into the game. I mean, we already have vacuuming, but I will, I will love to sweep the floor with a, with a broom and maybe um, iron and fold my clothes. That's what I would really want, honestly. I just want to iron my clothes because my Sims clothes be wrinkly. So now that we're done with the second floor, I think now it's time to tackle the backyard because we got a lot of work to do with very little space if we're gonna make this work. So ultimately, I think the key thing here is to probably still keep the flower station and probably put, this, put it back where it was before because it looks fine. And then I don't wanna add any like pet related things outside because that takes up the majority of the space. I do wanna have some room at least for some activities, maybe a swing set and maybe some gardening as well. Oh, forgot about these things from backyard stuff too. These little chimes. And if you don't wanna dry your clothes, I think a clothing line could work as well outside. Yeah, I don't think a swing set will work because a swing set literally takes up the entire space. So if your Sims sit right here, your Sims can swing throughout their days. I, see, I still want to add this in, but I feel like it's too much, so I won't. Uh. Bird feeder can go into the side. Maybe some planter boxes could go into the front or maybe the back. I might do this. I might do the smaller. Wait, I just we don't have any planter boxes in yellow. Who needs planter boxes when you have the ground? So I'm done with the entire house, and honestly, I actually kind of like it. I thought the house was going to turn out really ugly, like throughout the entire thing but it actually looks really, really good. But here's like the whole like exterior of it. I really love the landscaping of what I did. I love how luscious it is. I love and I adore. I take pride in landscaping. So I go full out with, with the stuff, no matter what build I'm doing, you'll have good landscaping, trust me. So as for the interior throughout the entire house, I liked how there were pops of color here and there, like oranges, blues, greens reds it made it more cohesive where you weren't walking in and you're instantly blinded by all the yellow i mean yellow's great but you don't want to be blind by looking at it so it looks really good it comes together really really well especially in the entrance area when you walk in with the blue oranges and green and then for the living room straight up yellow you just can't see anything but yellow you got a christmas tree so or, you know for some festivities festive and then we have the dining room kitchen bedroom number one and then bathroom number one i did add in bunk beds throughout the entire house besides the master bedroom quote unquote master bedroom because i feel like if you're gonna have more sims or at least eight sims in the household you might as well add in some bunk beds in a very small home and then upstairs is the kids bedroom i did add in two bunk beds so you have four sims who can sleep in here and then you have the nice master bedroom and then another bathroom the hallway and then another bathroom so as for the backyard, you don't have that much going on back here. You got your swing set for your kids or yourself, seating area, your grill, flowering table, and your bird feeder. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really need. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so the thumbnail of the house on the gallery looks really cool. I kind of like it. I think I'm going to name this. I'm going to name this build all yellow build in full caps because I think, hey, it works well. It's a solid color build challenge in all yellow. It just makes perfect sense. And then since we have eight beds that or can sleep eight Sims, I'm going to put eight in here and then I'm going to put three bathrooms. And it's actually 90,000 simoleons or like 91,000 simoleons. If you round up 91,000 simoleons. So it's not that it's expensive, but not expensive for any family home if you got the funds for it. And you know what? Yellow makes the gallery view look so much better with the lighting, the way it's shaved, the where it's facing. It's just perfect. I, I said it once and I'll say it again. Yellow's the best color and you know it, just saying. <laughs> but if you want to download this house off of my gallery, it's just Spring Sims, all one word, and you're good to go. But that being said, I'm actually gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below, what should I do next for another like solid color build challenge? And um, I'll do it again. But also thank you again to The Sims Resource for sponsoring today's video. But either way, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.